Hey everyone, so this video I'm going to show you step by step of how to achieve the perfect date night look. So your boyfriend or husband or whoever you're on a date with is concentrating on you and not trying to figure out how many layers of foundation you have on your face. So the first thing I want to do is prep my skin. I'm using a mattifying uh, face lotion. You want to use something a little bit more mattifying and not so dewy because half the time guys don't understand the, the dewy look anyway. They just think your face is oily. So um, I would just go mattifying. Primer I'm using Smashbox. Depending on how good the date is, depends on how long you want your makeup to last. But, I mean, let's hope for the best. Let's let's hope you have a really good date with someone you kind of like and you want your makeup to last because you might be there for a little bit. Concealer, I'm using Laura Mercier. This is just her eye concealer. If you have really bad dark circles, and I mean like really bad, honestly really bad, then use enough concealer to cover them. But if you don't, don't cake on the concealer under your eyes because it just, it looks cakey and you can see it and it seriously looks like you can take your finger and just like it off your eyeball, which is not very attractive. So I really wouldn't recommend that. Now as far as foundation, the number one, well, maybe not the number one, but one of the many mistakes a lot of girls make is wearing entirely way too much foundation for what they need. So many people come into work and they have like flawless perfect skin and they're like, I need a full coverage because my skin is horrible. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Your face is flawless. Like it looks like a baby's face. It's amazing. So also guys don't really like a lot of makeup. They want to like be able to think, hey, if I make out with you, is your face going to come off on my face? Or is your your blush or your foundation going to get all over my shirt? Which it probably will anyway. Um, they just don't put a lot of garb on your face because I guarantee you, you don't need it. You're pretty without 10 layers of foundation on your face. I promise you. So with that being said, wear as less foundation base makeup as you can. If you can wear a tinted moisturizer and put a powder on top of it, do it. If you really need the full coverage because you have really bad acne or discoloration, um, anything like that, then do that. But you don't really need that. So what I'm going to do is use a tinted moisturizer with concealer and setting it with a powder. So I still get the coverage that I want, but it's not going to look like I'm putting a ton of coverage on my face. And I'm actually going to use a foundation brush for this. I find with a tinted moisturizer, if you use a brush, you get a little bit more coverage with it. Oh, and this is Laura Mercier. Oil free, and I have it in nude. And also, use the correct coloring as well. There is no need to use foundation two, three shades darker than your actual neck or than your actual face because they will notice. I swear to you, they're going to notice. And if you've already been with your certain person, for a while, then they're going to be like, um, it's not, yeah. If it's a first date, they probably won't tell you. They'll just laugh at you and be like, dude, this girl, whack, whack. And then once he notices that, he's just going to be looking at it all night long. And he won't even be paying attention to you. So now that we have an even base, we can go back in with your concealer. People over conceal all the time, so I try using your base first and then go into conceal. Um, it's going to look so much more natural that way and it's not going to look so heavy. Concealer, I'm going to use Makeup Forever's full cover. I'm going to take a concealer brush and get a tiny, tiny amount of this. And then just tap it on the areas that you need more concealing. 
and then lightly blend it in to the rest of your face. So now I'm going to take a pressed powder and a little spongy guy, this is Laura Mercier, and I'm going to roll it in there. And press this into my skin. Overboard with, and that is the bronzer. There are so, so many girls that I see walking around here and their bronze, bronze face and their like pale necks um, or the really, really intense like contouring. And I'm like, you're kind of defeating the purpose because contouring is to make it look like it's natural, like your face is naturally skinny. When they see a, a big stripe that's just Ridiculous. You're not fooling anybody. So what I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush, tap it in my bronzer, tap, tap, tap a room, and then shake it off. And then I'm going to start at my temples, bring it just a little bit under your cheekbone. You don't want them to think, what does she look like without her makeup on? Is she hideous? Is that why she puts on so much makeup to cover up her ugliness? You don't want that. You want your natural beauty to shine through, but just with a little bit of oomph, a little bit of help. Blush, pick whatever color you want to, just don't go overboard with it. Smile, hit the apples. and then blend it up. Prime your eye with your favorite eye primer. This is gonna ensure that your eyeshadow will not crease and people won't look at you like you're crazy. Another mistake that I see all the time, girls doing very, very, very dark smoky eyes because they think that that's what the guys want. They like porn stars, so I'm gonna do porn star makeup all the time. So today I'm gonna show you how to do smoke without the, the porn star. I'm gonna take a gray liner, this one's by Stila. I'm gonna line my top line. I did it kind of thick because we're just going to take our finger and blend it. Now using a skin tone color, I'm going to use this one right here. You're going to put this in your crease, just to give your eyes some definition. My highlight, I'm choosing a matte because the crease color is a shimmer and I definitely don't want a disco ball look. So I'm going to take a darker gray liner. This is by Makeup Forever. Use a little bit on the lash line. Just in the outer corners. And take your finger, give it a little smudgeroo. I'm going to take just a little bit in that outer corner on the bottom. 
smudge. The inner corner, I'm going to use this shimmery pink. And stick it right there. Then go ahead and curl your lashes. I'm going to use a lash primer just because it helps with flakiness with the mascaras. So when you're doing your mascara, biggest tip I can give you is know when to stop. Spider your lashes just look creepy. Like beyond creepy. Okay, so now we are done with eyes, face, brows, lips. Lips are kind of tricky because... A lot of girls put on lots and lots and lots of gloss, which is, gloss is fine, don't get me wrong, I wear a gloss, but when you put it on so much, A, your man doesn't want to kiss you when you're wearing gloss. It's been proven. Or if when you do kiss them, they're like, ugh. So I recommend a long wearing lipstick or a lip stain so it doesn't come off at all or a tint. Something practical. Um, you're going on a date so you're probably going to be eating so I probably wouldn't recommend a red lipstick because it's probably going to go all over your face definitely. So something neutral, something natural, no craziness. Tame your crazies, okay? Tame them. So what I'm going to use is a Sephora lip gloss. It's called Romantic Rose and it's amazing, long wearing, glossy, so it takes rid of the gloss factor and it's that natural lip color but just better and creamy and glossy and just wonderful. Alright, so that is the finished look. Nice and soft and natural, but your your features will still stand out. Your eyes will still pop out because of the gray. Um, grays are a great color to use for any eye color. And you just look pretty and glowy and just beautiful. And your man or woman, whoever you're dating at the moment or married to, or first date, blind date, whatever, is going to see you and not your makeup. And he's actually going to be interested in you rather than wondering how much makeup you just have on your face. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck, happy, happy dating, date nights, and I will see you guys later. Bye.